Hello, I'm Sarah. I'm just going to quickly show you how to darn a sock. This is something that's, it requires a bit of patience, but it's pretty easy and it will prolong the life of your socks. So why not? You will just need some wool. I'm gonna use a couple of different shades just to make it easier to see what I'm doing. You'll need a ball, just like a tennis ball, or you can actually get purpose-made little dome things. If you are sewing a hole in the heel or the toe, which is normally where it is, you want to put the ball there so you can do your sewing around the ball. However, somehow, with great skill, this sock has a hole where the arch of the foot is. So I'm gonna use something flat. I thought a coaster will do the trick. So I'm gonna stick a coaster in here so we can see what we're looking at. You'll need a nice thick needle like this one that I got from the warehouse. So of course wool is going to be going through this. I'm using a couple of different colours of wool just so you can see what I'm doing. My husband's going to be stoked I'm doing it in pink. <laughs> the pair of scissors just for snipping it. And that is all you will need. So we're going to go around both these and we're going to make a square shape around it. So I'm going to start in the corner here. one stitch in the corner and we want to leave we want to leave a few inches at the end there for when we tie it off at the end so we're making a square we want to do the next one up in the next corner and then we want to pull it back again and we're just basically going to make a zigzag going across. Now the tighter you can make it, the sturdier it will end up being. So another stitch back this way. So this is this is one of the um, darn tough socks from the warehouse. I would recommend, so it's sort of a middle of the range kind of sock. It lasts pretty good actually these ones. I quite like these. However, you've got to bear in mind that when you are darning a sock, it will only be as strong as the actual sock that you're attaching all your wool to. So really, you want to only go to this trouble if you've got a really good quality wood, woolen sock. However, if you just want to prolong the life of your socks, hey, why not? So then, get to the end of our little zigzag. I'm actually going to push this through, this stray bit, onto the other side of the sock. reach in, grab the needle from the other end and just pull that through. So the straggly bit is now on the inside and I'm going to do that again with the other side and I'm going to tie them off on the inside of the sock so we're not left with uh, little straggly bits on the outside. And then I'm just going to tie each of these in, in a wee double knot just to stop it from, I mean you can sew it, you can sew it in and out a few more times if you want to make it really really secure, whatever, whatever works. But I just tie it in a little double knot. Snip those off. through. I'm going to do just one stitch at the corner there. And like last time just leave a little tail for tying it off at the end. And then I'm going to play a bit of an over and under game with these grey bits. So I'm going to go over the first, under the second. So we're literally just weaving it in and out of these grey bits of wool, like that. So we pull that through and then we go the other way, except we do it the opposite. So I'll do another stitch down here, 
So I'll stitch at that end, and then we're gonna go back doing the opposite. So where we went over, we're now going under. Right, like that. And as per before, the closer you can make these, the sturdier this is going to be. So with each layer, I just tend to push it down a bit like that with the, uh, with the needle. And then we just continue on the line like that. So, so a stitch and then over and under the opposite way that you went on the last row. Right, so that there is about as far as I can go on that. So, do a final stitch in this corner. And then, just like the grey bit, I'm gonna push it through into the middle. Onto the other side, I should say. Turn that inside out again. Tie these off. Snip those bits off. Turn that back around. Check out our handiwork. Beautiful. I'll model it, eh? Yeah, I'll put it on and model it. Right, so, there we go. <laughs> How classy am I? So, you know, I, I may not be the neatest darner in the world, but we've just prolonged the life of these socks for a bit. Hit like, leave us a comment, hit subscribe, and don't put your feet on the dining table, it's really rude, okay? Bye. <laughs>